Welcome to Harry Persian Mornings. Welcome to Huge Poppin' Mornings. Welcome to Ham Packed Mornings. Welcome to Happy Papa Mornings. Welcome to Hungover Punjabi Mornings. <laughs> Charles, we need a proper name. Well, f it, we'll do it live. Sumimasen, yoku wakarimasen. Welcome to the morning show, live from the Stud I.O., the only place with a lazier name than this show. Every Friday afternoon, some of our team sits down and comes up with new ideas of what to do. When HPM, our company, was a startup, we had all the time in the world to come up with random and crazy ideas, from a commune to a giant weather shield over the city, or NFTs. Now that we have the Stud I.O. here in this room, we can put together some of those random ideas and bring them to life. My favorite idea that's been around for a while is a morning show to update you, our global audience, on what's happening in the world and give some local stories around our neighborhood, The Hague. All while giving a little insight into the crazy family that is Holland Park Media. So, starting today, I'm going to fancy it up on our formal Fridays, get behind this desk, and get to work bringing you some of the most topical information there is, local auctions. I get a lot of grief from my team because every week I come up with the next craziest thing we should buy from a bankruptcy auction. So, we need 20 pairs of skis, right? Or 230 vuvuzelas? Sure. Or an entire fleet of Dutch military trucks? Why not? The answer to all of these is, of course, yes, we need them. So, I thought I'd start our first segment by sharing my favorite auction from this week. This week was a close call. It was, it was hard to beat a cup of soup vending machine for only 20 euros. But, in the end, I had to go with 382,000 liters of diesel marine fuel from the Dutch Ministry of Defense. The best way to deal with leftover fuel when you're trying to cut your carbon emissions and save the planet? Auction it to the public. They'll know what to do with it, of course. In a new report this week from Dutch News, a local criminal expert warned a city council meeting that banning foreign tourists from Amsterdam's coffee shops, or better known as weed cafes, or the place that you find my sidekick Helena on Tuesdays, will cause them to end up in dark alleys and dark corners because of the lack of available weed. And here I thought Amsterdam was already Europe's dark alley. Where else do you go to find self-employed prostitutes and drugs from a sketchy guy behind a canal? In uplifting news this week, something we badly need during this pandemic, the Dutch government wants to reward all healthcare workers with a one-time bonus of up to 240 euros. If everything goes well, healthcare workers who gave their heart and soul to society will walk away from this pandemic with memories of our clapping, enough money to buy a new pair of scrubs, and some extra leftover to save up for a 26-disc collector edition of Scrubs DVDs. Another pandemic and nurses can finally afford the best bromance on mid-2000s TV. Let's move on to our next reoccurring segment, that person I haven't called, because I promise you, every one of you has someone in your contacts who you know you should have called them this week, you should have called them last week, and for some reason you just still haven't called them. Helena, who haven't I called this week? Peter Decker. Who? The wildlife dude. Ah, right, this guy. Every week or so, my girlfriend and I will take my dog, Bay, to a random park in the country. A couple of months ago, we stumbled on Modestein in The Hague, and we found what everyone expects to find in a beautiful Dutch park, giant, furry, wild pigs. A guy drove up to where we were, and he, we assumed he was gonna tell us to leave because it didn't look like we should be there near these pigs anyways. Instead, he opened up his trunk and out popped three border collies to round up the pigs. And when he did so, he took boxes of croissants, giant boxes of croissants out of his truck and started tossing them to the pigs which is apt commentary on some Dutch views of the French. Well, our former French colleague would have had a heart attack at this site and not from all the butter in the croissants. We asked him if, he could, if we could help out because tell me that doesn't look like fun. Turns out he takes otherwise wasted food and helps cultivate wild animals in and around The Hague. Need your lawn mowed? He'll bring a flock of sheep to do the job. Helena, we seriously need to do a story on this guy. Luckily for you, I gave him a call. Do you know? Yeah, why are they important? Why did you get them? Oh, he likes that. Yes. Oh. Like you want to use animals at full utility, correct? Yes. 
Yes, I, I like animals in the nature because when you have animals in the nature, you can say, you see, um, they you, um, act uh, as nature. Yeah. And when they are in cages, yeah. they don't act like uh, what is used to be in nature. Yeah. And this is perfect. Uh, pigs used to live in the in the woods, yeah. and this is very big area, and, uh, and they have a big group, yeah. so they are all relatives from each other. Social animals, I social assume. animals, sheep yes. as well, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, and that's that's what I like. Mm. These animals are very good in uh, all these uh, areas we need to get the stickstuff out of the air. Yeah. So we need more nature, need more and nature. when you have nature, you have to under uh, you have to uh, keep it clean, the nature, so you need animals. Yeah. And what also nice is, is uh, people with burnout, they get relaxed here. Oh. Because we are here working, but yeah. we get relaxed because of this environment. People are relaxed, uh, things are relaxed here. If you're mentally stressed, come here, you come here and do some physical labor and you'll forget your worries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yes. Hey Charles, can we get a pic? No, we're not getting an office pig. She knows the plan is to get a whole damn farm for our office. Commune. Our last section of the show, board games that have kept us sane during Corona. I, like most others I assume, missed the pre-COVID days of going into a casino, putting all my money on black, losing immediately, and asking the older guy next to me if he'll pay to eat a Sunday off my chest for 20 euros so I can go another spin. What? I think all of our standards have been lowered because of quarantine. So this week we tried out Flotus Cum Roulette, the Danish game Whipped Cream Roulette. The tagline, press on the buttons and hold your breath. Cause doesn't that just sound like the perfect game for the whole family? <laughs> this has been the first edition of our morning show. I'd like to thank everyone for taking a little bit of time out of their day to really give us a chance to try something new. And of course, I'd like to thank my amazing sidekick, Helena, and the entire HPM team for making this a possibility. Oh, we have a live stream now. Well, I guess that's my time. Check in next week to see the office pet trend of 2021 and why it's a goat. Mm-hmm.